Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I'm afraid your leave will have to be cut short. A critical situation has just been brought to High Command's attention. Havoc Squad is needed immediately. Report to my office on Coruscant right away. We'll discuss things further when you arrive. Garza out. Great. If High Command is worked up, this can't be good. Looks like we're back on the job. Are all of you ready for this? Ready and able, Lieutenant. Always. Our degraded enemies have rested in reprieve too long. Let's set out right away. Lieutenant, welcome. Stand at ease. We have a lot to discuss, and not much time to do it in. First, for your courageous actions against superior enemy forces, you are being awarded the Republic Mark of Victory. In addition, due to your exemplary leadership under the most dire of circumstances, you are hereby promoted to the rank of Captain, effective immediately. Congratulations. Thank you very much, General. You've more than earned it. I've called the other members of Havoc Squad here so you can designate one of them as your executive officer. Your XO will serve you as second in command and be promoted to the rank of lieutenant. As droids cannot hold rank, your choice is between Sergeants Jorgen and Dorn. Let's start with you, Jorgen. Why should I give you this promotion? Are you serious? I was lieutenant when you met me. I was an operations officer on Ord Mantell for more than three years. If Tavis hadn't left the lazy jerks upstairs hungry for a scapegoat, I'd still be a lieutenant. Besides, you've seen my results in the field. I'm obviously the most qualified for executive officer. I'll think about what you've said, Jorgen. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Tell me what makes you the best choice for the job. I believe my service record speaks for itself, sir. In spite of my short time in the Republic Army, I have received multiple commendations and glowing performance reviews. As you've seen firsthand, I carry out my duties professionally and precisely at all times. Finally, I have extensive personal knowledge of the tactics and training of our enemy. More so, perhaps, than any other soldier in the Republic. I'll take all this into consideration, Dorn. That'll be all. Understood. Thank you for your time, sir. Well, they're both good candidates, General. I'll go with your recommendation. If that's what you want... Jorgen, you're hereby promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Congratulations. Thank you, General. I appreciate your confidence in me. Now, let's discuss the reasons you were called here. An SIS agent working undercover in the Imperial military has made a critical discovery. The Empire is constructing an experimental new superweapon, codename Gauntlet. How dangerous is this thing, General? We're short on details, unfortunately. The agent is in too deep to risk transmitting any further information. Our only option is a rapid extraction. That's where Havoc comes in. We'll pull the agent out immediately, General. The extraction will take place on Tatooine. An SIS agent will meet you there with the full details of the operation. Failure is not an option, Captain. We have to learn what the gauntlet is and what it's capable of, no matter the cost. Dismissed. Captain, good to see you. It was a big relief to hear that Havoc could make it out for this one. Congratulations on the promotion, by the way. How's it feel to be so big and important? If being a captain lets me do more for the Republic, that's all that matters. Well, you look good. Authoritative. So, you know that you're extracting an undercover agent who has intel on the Empire's new superweapon, codenamed Gauntlet. The agent's name is Prelin Garn. He's done his part. The transport he's riding just made an emergency landing in the desert, under mysterious circumstances. I'll find the landing site and pull our man out ASAP. Garn's ride was an Imperial troop transport, 
so expect plenty of security as you approach. Once our agent is secure, be sure the scene is clear and make your way back. Good luck. Defensive positions. Squad two, advance on my... I'm here! Get down here! Havoc squad, move in! Let's get our man out of there. Traitor! Shoot him!
that felt good. You don't know how many times I had to talk myself out of murdering that walking scum. Watching everything the imps do and not interfering, that's tough. You learn to take the little victories where you can. An Imperial rescue team will be here any second, so let's move. I need to rig the ship to blow. That should vape all the evidence of my little disappearing act. Can you cover me? There's nobody I can't handle. I'll just get to work then. She's ready to blow. arms of the Republic, Prelin. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Jonas. Your friend got me out with all limbs intact. Guess that means I owe you 20 credits, huh? Ah, Captain. You brighten my day, fatten my bank account, and gun down imps like maimed banthas. Marry me when this war is over. We can chat later. I want to know about the gauntlet. Yeah, we better get down to business. The gauntlet, the Empire's new superweapon. It's a massive cannon built into the frame of an Imperial battlecruiser. But it's no ordinary cannon. The Gauntlet can fire on ships traveling through hyperspace, where they're completely helpless. Warships go down in one shot. A weapon that powerful could win the war by itself. Exactly. We have to move fast to stop this thing. We've got a full report ready. Once Jonas gets me to a terminal, I'll send the details to General Garza. You'd better head back to Coruscant, Captain. Garza will have Prelin's report by the time you get there, and I'm sure she'll want to keep Havoc Squad in the loop. I'll head for Coruscant immediately. Take care, Captain. you've arrived. This is Fleet Admiral Newman, head of the Republic Navy's 5th Assault Fleet, and Supreme Commander Rands, overall head of the Republic Armed Forces. Good day. We've both heard a great deal about you, Captain. Given our present circumstances, Fleet Admiral Newman and Supreme Commander Rands have come here to plan a full-scale joint operation to deal with the Gauntlet superweapon. I'm honored to meet you both. It's unfortunate that we couldn't meet under better circumstances. As you know, the situation is dire. A single operational gauntlet device gives the Empire a decisive military advantage. But Agent Garn's report has revealed the enemy's true plan, mass production. If the gauntlet prototype is completed and the Empire succeeds in producing more of them, we're doomed. The entire Republic would be conquered in a matter of weeks. 
There must be something we can do to stop this thing, sir. Destroying the gauntlet will require a coordinated naval and infantry strike of unprecedented scale. Our forces must begin preparing now. In the midst of the assault we're planning, a single commando team will board the gauntlet and sabotage it from within. We've chosen Havoc Squad to carry out this task. Havoc Squad will be proud to end this threat to the Republic, sir. Your team will need to be expanded. You'll need a technical specialist and an explosives expert. The General and I have scoured the entire Republic personnel database to locate the two most highly qualified specialists available. Both men are engaged in active operations. The first on Balmora. Extract him and return here as quickly as possible. Understood? If I have your leave, I'll get started immediately, General. Absolutely, Captain. The sooner Havoc Squad is at full strength, the sooner we can begin the assault on the gauntlet. Dismissed. Captain, I understand you've reached Balmora. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Imperial forces conquered the planet during the First War, but a Balmoran resistance movement has fought the occupation to this day. Republic support for the resistance has been inconsistent over the years. But now, our forces are pushing to drive the Empire off Balmora for good. If our people need backup, they can count on Havoc Squad. Your primary objective, of course, is the recruitment of Havoc Squad's new explosives expert. His name is Tano Vic. Vic is a weakway and a natural at demolitions work. But he also has a history of insubordination and collateral damage. Keep him on a short leash. What's a Weequay? Weequay are leathery-skinned humanoids from a desert planet called Shreeler, in the Outer Rim. Though Vic himself comes from Nar Shaddaa. To be clear, Vic's infractions were not minor, and they led to his dishonorable discharge over a year ago. He is, however, the most skilled demolitionist on record, and Havoc Squad needs the best. I'm sure he'll work out fine. Just be sure to keep an eye on him. Vic is currently fighting as a mercenary for the Balmoran Resistance. His supervisor is a Resistance leader named Arden. Meet with Arden. Learn where Vic is stationed and pull him out as quickly as possible. Contact me again when you've done so. Garza out. So let's focus on those war mechs landing on the plateau. Look, it's one of our dependable friends from the Republic. Meeting's over, people. I wouldn't dream of keeping a Republic officer waiting. I'm not interested in your opinions. I'm interested in Tano Vic. Don't worry. I know how much a Balmoran's opinion is worth to you people. General Garza sent me a message explaining everything. I've got Vic's current assignment details right here. I'm glad to hear the Republic's finest aren't here to help, but to take away one of my best men instead. We're honored, really. Havoc Squad needs a demolitions expert. Of course. And what Havoc needs, Havoc gets. Vic is taking one of our teams on a patrol run. Their next stop is our signal interception post. You can catch up with him there. Now if that's all, there are real soldiers who need my time. I don't mean to put you in a bad place, sir. I'm really not interested in what you mean to do. Scanning Sector 2. Nothing. Just like the others, Pran. Excuse me. I'm looking for Tenno Vic. Ah! Oh! You're with the Republic. I thought I was dead meat. Looking for Vic, huh? That weak way scumbag is long gone. It's imperative that I locate him immediately. Vic was here earlier, but he slipped away when we weren't looking, along with our entire security team. All they left was this hollow recording. Gentlemen, Tano Vic, 5030 regulars. I'm afraid your fine security team is being co-opted for a very important top secret mission. This is all on Republic orders, of course. Part of the big push. Take a look at Regulation 235R. You'll see that everything checks out. Have a good one. Dorn, are you familiar with Regulation 235R? Yes, sir, but 
It makes no sense. Regulation 235R dictates the size and positioning of improvised field latrines. Vic is the least of our problems. With security gone, Imperial Commandos have breached the perimeter and started sabotaging our equipment. All of our comm relays are down. General Rackton himself could march an army through here and we would have no way to warn anyone. Is there any way to get the relays back online? Judging by the way the relays cut out, I'd guess the imps just yanked the power couplings. Easy fix, but the problem will be fighting through those commando teams. Do you think you can manage it? I'll have the relays back online in no time. Just like that, huh? Just another day on the job. We'll try to hold down the fort while you're gone. Good luck. Locked and loaded. and we've already picked up a lot of Imperial chatter. You really made an impression. I couldn't stand by while allies were in danger. We won't forget it. You can bet on that. Once the equipment came back up, Dalba had the bright idea of tapping Vic's communications, like we do the imps. Listen to this. A dangerous mission. No doubt about it. To be honest, a lot of you probably won't make it back. Of course, if you ask the guys up top, They'll never even admit to ordering this mission. That's how it is in this business. But we're not here for glory or credits. We're here to save Balmora. Am I right? I don't know if I can even watch this nonsense. No, wait. Listen to this part. Step one is Sobrik. Once we have what we need there, it will be a straight shot to our final objective. Sobrik's an Imperial-occupied city, one of their main bases of operations on Balmora. Sounds like you could catch up to Vic there. I better move out right away. Hopefully you can catch that scumbag before he slips away again. I know a guy, a major in the Republic Special Forces, Triam. He's been helping us out around Sobrik. I'll bet he could narrow down the search for you. Thanks again for all your help. And good luck catching up to that scumbag. Captain, I'm Major Triam, 35th Recon. You can stand at ease. I appreciate your time, Major. I'm hoping you can help me find a weak way named Tenno Vic. I'll bet I can. That lying filth volunteered to destroy some Imperial jammers in Sobrik. They're blocking the scan data from all of our high-altitude probe droids. Vic took the explosives but never did the job. The Resistance needs the data from those probes to avoid patrols and conduct raids. Just give me the target coordinates and I'll move out. It's not that simple. Unfortunately, you'll need detonite charges to bring the jammers down. Vic took the last of mine, so you'll have to do a bit of scrounging. The imps have checkpoints scattered through Sobrik. They'll have explosives. Once you have enough charges, hit those jammers hard. Consider the jammers scrap, sir. Once the jammers are down, and we start getting full aerial scans of Sobrik, we can pinpoint exactly where Vic took my explosives. Contact me via Holo as soon as the jammers are down. Dismiss, Captain.
I need to talk to you in private. The jammers have been destroyed, Major. I repeat, the jammers are down. That's good to hear, Captain. I was starting to sweat. All right, the aerial scans are coming in now. Let's see if we can find that weak way. Hmm. I'm seeing signs of an explosive entry at the Imperial HQ, near the administrative offices. We don't have any people in the area, so it's got to be Vic's handiwork. I'll proceed to the area immediately. I'm sending you the coordinates now. When you run into Vic, pass on my thanks for all his help. Triumph out. Commander of Havoc Squad, I'm here to recruit you. <laughs> I thought that message was a prank. This is too good. I really want to hear what the Republic has to offer me, because last I checked, I wasn't winning any popularity contests with Command. But that'll have to wait until my work here is done. I couldn't stand to leave without doing my part for the Balmorans. We can do this faster together. What's the objective? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Count yourself in, Captain. My team and I just grabbed an enemy VIP named Brel Orus. He's a Balmoran fat cat who sold out to the imps. Baby mongrel slime! You'll pay for this! You'll pay for this! Brel has volunteered the location of a hazard vault where my objective is hidden. I'm borrowing a Republic missile battery to blast it open. What's hidden inside the hazard vault, Vic? Let me worry about that part. I need you to clear a path. There are all sorts of defenses that could stop my missile before it hits. The imps have anti-missile turrets, shields, defensive sensors. Why don't you start with the sensors? 
Take them down, then contact me again. Copy? I'll be in touch, Vic. Can't wait. Sensor stations are down, Vic. Nice job. I guess they say Havoc is the best for a reason. I have to ask, Captain, why me? I mean, sure, I'm pretty incredible. But last I heard, the guys up top weren't too interested in having me around. Havoc Squad has to have the top explosives expert in the Republic. And that's me, huh? I'm flattered. <laughs> From a dishonorable discharge to Havoc Squad in less than a year. It's a crazy galaxy. Let's get back to helping these poor, pitiful Balmorans. Now that the sensors are gone, I need you to hit the Imps anti-missile turrets. Think you can handle that? I can handle a few turrets. Good deal. Keep in touch. Vic out. Ready? Here you go. Destroy the anti-missile turrets. Much appreciated. We're going to be ready to launch in no time. So, what's it like being top squad in the Republic? You have command breathing down your neck, or do they give you room to operate? General Garza oversees all of Havoc Squad's operations personally. Never met Garza, but I know her reputation. I'm surprised she's willing to have me in the same sector. Only one more thing between my missile and its target. An aerial shield generator. Take it down, and we'll be go for launch, Captain. Taking the shield down shouldn't be a problem. You're a pro. No doubt about it. See you soon. Vic out. This is ridiculous. Why are we going along with Vic's nonsense? This is our only shot at catching up to him. I don't see any other options. I guess you're right. Once we get Vic in the squad, just leave him to me. I'll teach him some discipline. Ready to move when you are. It's done. The shield generator is disabled. Just what I wanted to hear. I'm dying to launch this baby. Target coordinates locked in. Fire. are really going to feel this one. I'm glad I could help. Wish I could have pulled you in from the start. You've made this up a breeze. I can't wait to shake your hand, Captain. See you soon.
Help. Got to help. They took him. The imps took Vic. Just tell me what happened, soldier. It was... It was that traitor, Brel Oris. He gave the imps our position somehow. We fought hard. But they overran us. They tore straight through and grabbed Vic. They'll take him to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The imps built a prison in the back of the complex. No one ever comes out. I'm going to get Vic back. Period. You're a hero. A real hero. Just like Vic. You can do it. I know you can do it. Tough break. Let's make sure he didn't die for nothing. I'll make sure everyone involved pays the price. Again, make that thieving liar pay. <sighs> well, it's been fun, guys, but it looks like my ride is here. Nice knowing you. Drop your weapon, surrender now. I made it this far. Do you really think you can stop me? She's got you there. Is this really how you want to go out? Shut up! We do not negotiate with Riff Raff. The Empire fears no one. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. I won't ask again. Hand over the prisoner. He'll pay for his crimes, and so will you! Shoot her! Shoot her! <laughs> was exciting. It's good to finally meet you in person, Captain. You're back in the Republic Army now, Vic. Act like it. Uh, yes, sir, Captain, sir. Permission to stomp that fat bureaucrat's head in, sir. Uh, <laughs> let's not be hasty now. I am a man of honor, despite what you may have heard. Yeah, nice guy. You stole from your people, and betrayed them to the Empire by accident. I've made mistakes, certainly, but allow me to make amends. A contribution of credit, say, to repay the Republic's heroism on behalf of my fellow Balmorans. I don't want your credits, Oris. Get out of here. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Whatever you wish. Should have just killed the fat scumbag. Now, seeing as we're all on the same team, I'll fill you in on my little operation. That vault we blew open is full of pricey prototype weapons designed by Balmoran companies. Oris had them hidden before the Imperial invasion to keep them safe. Oris never told the Imperials about these weapons. Of course not. He wanted to make money on them. Oris planned to sell the prototypes for a tidy profit. We could do the same, after picking a few choice items for ourselves. Those prototypes should be put to use, not sold for profit. I'm with you, Captain. Good men sacrificed their lives to get us here. We've got to do right by them. I bet you change your mind once those blasters are in front of us. Let's just get to the vault. If we don't move fast, the imps might find the prototypes. <laughs> Talk to you when we get a chance.
Here they are, Sergeant. Go ahead and bring your men through. It's clear. Captain, this is Sergeant Tom. I took the liberty of calling his transport team in to get these captured enemy weapons crated and moved. I appreciate you coming all this way to help us. No problem, sir. Hostile pickup is our specialty. Where can we take this stuff for you, sir? Yeah, sir. Where are they taking all these highly advanced, highly useful, highly valuable prototype weapons? These weapons belong to the Balmorans. They should go back to them. Copy that, sir. Get moving, men! You're insane. The Balmorans are never going to share that tech with the Republic when they could make money instead. Those weapons were designed and built by Balmorans. We don't have any right to them. Nobody would have those weapons if not for us. We did all the work. I finally tracked down Vic. He's coming with me. Yeah. I heard about the prototype weapons. You think giving them back makes up for years of Republic mistakes? Obviously giving you the prototypes was a mistake. I should have held on to them. I thought that was standard procedure for you Republic types. You take what's useful and then run when things get tough. Vic is probably the only reason you're leaving the prototypes. He understood what Balmora's been through. I could always tell. I don't care what you think, Arden. I got places to be. Yeah, I'll bet you do. I'd like to say it's been a pleasure having you here, Captain, but we both know that's a lie. Come back when Havoc Squad is done showboating all over the galaxy. We'll put you to work for a real cause. You can pay me enough to work with you, Arden. I'm leaving. Captain, were you successful in locating and extracting Tano Vic to serve in Havoc Squad? Consider me located and extracted, General. Good. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. Has Vic given you any trouble, Captain? A bit, but I cleared things up. I'm glad to hear it. Tanovic, your service with the Republic Army is hereby resumed. You are posted to Special Forces Unit 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, at the rank of Specialist. It's a real honor to be here, General. I look forward to getting out there and fighting for the Republic again. Permission to speak, Captain. What do you have to say, Lieutenant? Vic's a liar. He's reckless and he has no regard for the lives of his fellow soldiers. With all due respect, I don't think someone like Vic has a place anywhere in the Republic Army, let alone Havoc Squad. This squad has to have the best explosives expert available. That's Vic. Just don't say I didn't warn you, sir. I understand your concerns, but we have a job to do. Let's focus on it. An urgent situation has developed, involving a critical part of our plan to assault the Gauntlet. Havoc Squad is needed immediately. A platoon specializing in bunker assaults, codenamed Safecrackers, is trapped behind enemy lines on Quesh. They must be rescued immediately. We cannot destroy the Gauntlet without them. I'll proceed to Quesh immediately, General. When you reach Quesh, report to Major Donovan. He's overseeing the rescue operation. I'll follow Major Donovan's orders to the letter, General. This mission is vital, Captain. If we fail, our entire operation against the Gauntlet is ruined. Stay focused and bring those men home. Garza out. Dug in, Major, but the hips are coming on strong, and I never much care for playing defense. Just hang in there, son. Havoc Squad just walked in. I'll get them briefed and in the field on the double. Copy that. I'm sure we'll find a way to keep busy. Call you out. What's the situation, Major? The situation is a mess, that's what it is. 
Everything went south while the safecrackers were on a bunker raid. Intel was bad, alarms got tripped, and the imps moved out in force. Now Corey's people are surrounded, outnumbered, and outgunned. We don't punch him a hole to run through every man in that outfit as a goner. I don't care how many imps there are, we're getting our people out of there. Let's get out there and bust some heads. What's the plan, Major? Diversion is the key. Scouts found an Imperial Command Center deep behind their lines. That's where you'll strike. Equipment, vehicles, personnel, anything with an Imperial logo gets holes in it. The imps will rush back to stop you, and the safe crackers will get the gap they need. Just give me the coordinates and I'll make some noise, Major. Let's give those scumbags a run for their money. As soon as the imps clear out, Corio will contact you so that you can all burn jets back here. Speeders are waiting for you. Now get out there and give the imps something to think about!
talk to you in private.
Tarvik, this is Coria with the Safe Crackers. We've got the gap we needed, so we're pulling out. I don't know what you're doing, but the Imps sure don't like it. You have a lot of company soon. Suggest you pull out immediately. Over. We'll head back to base right away. Copy that. See you at home. Coria out. Great work out there. Great work! You made that op plan look easy. In and out, hit and run, the imps never had a clue. Top-notch soldiering. I'm just glad we got the safe crackers out of there. You and me both. Quest definitely won't be making my list of the galaxy's most relaxing destinations. You got me and my people out of a tight spot and we won't forget it. Whatever and whenever you need, the safe crackers are there. I'll be glad to have your help, Lieutenant. General Garza already has plans for you. Yeah, that's what I hear. It'll be a pleasure to work with you again. All right, all right, we're not on vacation here, people. Coria, get your men settled and ready for transport. Captain, it's been a pleasure. Contact General Garza with the rundown before you take off. Dismissed. General Garza, this is Havoc. The safe crackers have been extracted safely. Excellent. Very good work, Captain. I'll make sure that the safe crackers stay out of harm's way until our operation against the gauntlet begins. Your next step is Hoth. The last specialist that Havoc needs is stationed there. Contact me when you arrive and I'll brief you on the specifics. I'll head for Hoth right away, General. Garza out. <laughs>